Let's begin part three of three, uh, discussing dental maladies, an increase in dental maladies I've seen since returning back to work after the COVID-19 shutdown. So let's roll that intro. What's up everyone, Dr. Eric Jackson here. Hope you're doing very well today. I uh, wanted to jump on and give you part three of three uh, about the uh, maladies I've seen as it increased during uh, the time we've got back since COVID-19 shutdown, right? The last three months, we've seen quite a bit. To give you a summary of part one and part two just briefly, um, I'll link to those uh, below as well as above. But ultimately, um, we reopened three months ago. and We've seen a lot of a surprising number of certain dental ailments that we've never had before in dentistry, right? Um, higher frequency, higher intensity uh, of, of certain aspects. What were those aspects we discussed? Well, this was part two. Um, generalized pay, you know, gingivitis. You know, you're getting a, 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 a lower grade on your, your, your report card when you come in for, dental, uh, for your dental hygiene visit. Uh, people who had A grades in their gums are kind of coming in with B. People who had B are coming in with C and so on and so forth. We're seeing a lot more jaw and TMJ pain. Uh, we're seeing a lot more tooth sensitivity. We're seeing a lot more headaches. We're seeing a lot more uh, soreness in their head and neck muscles. And then finally, we're seeing an increase in tooth fractures, physical damage to the teeth. Now that first one, the gingivitis, um, we, we classify all this as related to stress. The gingivitis it has a, a component in, in, in um, patients not brushing, not keeping up their home care as well. Patients not being able to get their teeth cleaned uh, because of the closure. That's a gum, a cleaning, a hygiene type issue. The remainder though, uh, jaw, TMJ pain, tooth sensitivity, headache, soreness, headed, sore head and neck muscles, and tooth fracture are all classic bruxism cases. Um, a lot of clenched jaws, a lot of grinding of teeth, sometimes one or the other, sometimes both. That bruxism is really just a synonym for uh, grinding and clenching. So we talked about why is it happening? stress, right? We've categorized it into biological stress, work stress, educational school stress, child, children's stress, right? Child care stress. What can we do about it? The last video we talked about, um, don't let your home care slip. Uh, don't fall behind in your dental hygiene appointments. Don't put off the hygiene, uh, hygiene visits and checkups, right? And then finally, you don't need to have symptoms be a grinder or a clencher. Acknowledge and accept the fact that this might be happening to you and you might not even have an outward notice or never have noticed it before until now when it finally escalated a little bit and you became aware of things. So let's get into the final uh, three ways to help protect our teeth and gums. The biggest, most juiciest suggestion here is get a night guard. Uh, that might seem rather obvious to some of you, but it's not for everyone, right? A night guard uh, is a remarkable little device that is available over the counter, as well as custom made by your dentist. Now, I'll do a separate video on the difference between the two, but the brief nuts and bolts, over the counter, now, they're great. I, I don't have a problem with them, uh, but if used for with a certain aspects in mind, right? Over the counter, um, over the counter uh, night guards, are immediate. You can go to Walgreens or CVS right now at the pharmacy and, and buy one. You can go home and either boil it in, in water, microwave it, follow the directions, and you can have it in your mouth probably within the hour very easily, right? That cannot be the case with a custom uh, made uh, dental appliance, right? You can't just make it within an hour uh, very easily. So immediacy is great. Inexpensive is also great. Um, you know, 25, 30, maybe 40 bucks, depending on where you are and whatnot, for an over-the-counter night guard. It definitely is a lot cheaper than a custom-made one. There's some downsides, however. Of course, it's bigger, bulkier. Over-the-counter night guards are often described as by, by patients as a, a close cousin to football mouth guards, a sports mouth guard, right? Um, big, kind of bulky, kind of hard to breathe in, kind of just cumbersome, right? So there's obviously a trade-off. But ultimately, it all mouth guards satisfy my kind of triple play philosophy. They are low cost, they have high return on investment, they are very effective, and they also are non-invasive to your teeth. 
They are really great at satisfying all three aspects of, of my triple play mentality here. So I love night guards, and really it comes down to, I've been t saying this to pretty much everybody now, do you think you need a night guard? I don't know for sure, but ultimately because of X, Y, and Z, you should go out and get an over-the-counter one and try it out. If they come back and they say, you know, you'd be surprised how often it happens. I can't believe it took me this long, or I can't believe that you were so correct. Let's, but I don't like the bulkiness of it. Let's make a proper custom-made one, and we'll make a proper custom-made one for them. And we've been doing a lot of those since we got back um, after COVID-19 shutdown. So final thought on night guards. If you're on the fence, I don't know if I need it. Maybe I do. My dentist didn't mention it. I'm not sure, but I still have a lot of these things that Dr. Jackson's talking about a lot of these maladies and these symptoms that Dr. Jackson is talking about, go get one. Go get an over-the-counter one and try it out. What's the worst thing that happens? It, it doesn't work. Well, then you're only out 35 bucks or so. And if it does work, well, then you can talk to your dental professional and say, you know what, I got an over-the-counter one, and it works great. You also are going to help. That's going to treat the acute symptoms. We didn't really mention, I didn't really touch on the whole chronic aspect of it all. Um, in a perfect world, everyone gets a night guard because it's just like a bicycle helmet. It truly does protect you for when you need it. People start grinding and stop grinding periodically throughout their lives, throughout their weeks, throughout their months. I, I don't really know exactly the, you know, the, the statistics of it all, but I do know from practical, real-world experience, right? Some days you grind and some days you don't. Some weeks you do and some weeks you don't. So having a night guard that you're wearing every night prepares you in case that evening's night, that evening's sleep is grinding and clenching filled, right? You won't get the benefits unless you're wearing it. Just like you won't be protected on your bike unless you put the helmet on before you ride. It's a very logical analogy and I think it works quite well. Another quick thought, retainers, right? Um, there are many types of retainers out there. Some are bonded, some are the old school kind with the, uh, the pink and the wire called a Holly. Uh, many are now are kind of transitioning to my favorite, the Essex style, uh, the, the clear plastic retainer. Um, I like these for this conversation because they cover over the bite surface of the teeth. They cover over the bite surface of the teeth and what do they do? They protect and they hold things together. They are, in a way, a mild night guard. Now they're not going to be sufficient enough for medium cases, uh, severe cases of grinding, clenching, bruxism, but they work very well for cases like myself, mild cases where perhaps you're a clencher or a mild grinder. Well, the night guard it covers over the Essex style plastic. It covers over the tooth. You'll wear it down. In addition, if you're a clencher, your teeth will have a tendency to kind of splay out and may, sh and may shift and move quicker than if you weren't a clencher. Well, the good news is your retainer is retaining your teeth, protecting the surfaces, protecting them from being chipped. It's doing du double duty, both retainer and night guard in certain uh, mild cases, right? Uh, if you wear through your retainers very quickly, well then clearly you don't need a retainer, you need a night guard. So you can get yourself a type of night guard that's gonna function as a, a very, very thick, proper retainer. You talk to your dentist or your orthodontist and you figure that out. But I'll put out there because retainers are great because they can do double duty. The final little tip that I'm gonna give you here, the sixth. So let's go through, we did our, um, got my list here. Don't let your home care slip. Don't fall behind on your dental hygiene checkup appointments. I acknowledge the fact that you don't have to have symptoms to be a grinder or a clencher. Um, Consider wearing a night guard um, at night. And, oh, I didn't mention, it's called a night guard because most of the problems happen at night. When you're asleep, your brain takes a lot of the restrictors, restrictions off of your, of your musculature, and you're able to really um, exceed the maximum power that you can during the day. Uh, complex uh, conversation right now that we're not going to go into, but basically if you can bite down right now as you're watching this while awake at 100%, when you go to sleep, Consider your ability, your, your brain will allow it, your jaw muscles to function at 110%. That's just what they do, that's why they do it. The brain is asleep and it doesn't have control as much, uh, as much restriction over the, the powerful muscles of your jaw. So if you have issues during the day, I've got patients that are daytime clenchers. They just are very clenching during work and whatnot. Go ahead and wear your night guard. If you know that, go ahead and put it in. I know it's called a night guard, but you can put it in. Um, you may not be able to talk with it in, so which is where you start getting into day guards, as I call them, right? And that is kind of a combination of perhaps it's more of a retainer, perhaps it's a thinner night guard, perhaps it's kind of customized by your dentist. Talk to your dentist about it. Your dental professional will be able to tell you a lot more about it. But really, 
night guards or day guards are the way to go almost always as a definitive treatment or a excellent trial, right? Finally, focus on your personal health. Uh, this is hard for everyone, including myself, um, dealing with all three of those categories of stresses. Um, we've seen patients, um, you know, decrease exercise. We've seen them increase uh, their alcohol consumption. In fact, a couple patients actually pick up smoking again. They used to be smokers. The pandemic stress has kind of got them back on the wagon, or is it off the... Either way, they're, they're back smoking again. I don't know that phrase, but either way, their vices are back, right? Increase in vices, we don't want that. We want to increase our positives and decrease our negatives. So perhaps try going for a walk. Try clearing your head. We want to make sure we're trying to get calm to enter our, our, our lives a little bit more. And if you have to inject calm into your life, do it. Um, maybe you find exercise um, you know, awful, but try. It's going to help your body. It's going to help your, your system fight the stress that it's constantly under now. Uh, that doesn't mean you have to go out and, and run 50 miles. Go for a walk around the block. Get your heart rate up. Remember, heart rate, and I'm not a, a personal trainer, but heart rate truly helps determine your physical exertion, right? Any age, heart rate matters, right? You're able to tailor make your exercise regime using a proper targeted heart rate. Talk to a personal trainer, your medical doctor, something about that because about that topic because they're gonna be far better than your dentist to, to discuss that professionally. However, heart rate matters. Get out there and, and get to the elevated heart rate level that you belong in so that way you can get some therapeutic benefits. Uh, there are lots of physical benefits to exercise as well as mental be benefits to exercise. Uh, perhaps we'll touch on that in a future video. Increase exercise, decrease vices, alcohol, food, tobacco, etc. Uh, don't eat your feelings. Uh, don't, don't smoke your feelings. Don't drink your feelings away. Don't, don't try to numb your stress that way. Um, and then finally, increase your sleep. Um, you know, everyone sleeps a different volume, a different amount. Some people need to have the classic seven or eight hours. Some people just need five or six. Other people might need nine or ten. It kind of depends on a lot. What quality sleep, and this is where you get into sleep medicine, sleep dentistry, quality sleep, REM sleep, um, it's, it's very, very complex, but ultimately if you're able to know your specific sleep pattern, you might consider talking to your medical professional or your dentist if he or she doesn't, take a sleep test. We do sleep tests here in the office. Um, we do them primarily for snoring cases and sleep apnea cases, but ultimately a sleep test is a beneficial test to know just quality of sleep. Tell me about my sleep. And it's great. I know there's free apps out there uh, on your phone. Uh, there's you know gizmos that you can wear on your watch, you know like an Apple Watch or or a Fitbit or whatnot. Um, I've never really seen studies about the accuracy of these things. I do know that sleep tests are are are, are customized. They are they are predictable and they're very accurate. So you might want to consider that. Get a good sleep. Put set the pins up for you to succeed in the sleep department. There are many ways that you can increase your quality of sleep. Uh, and I'm not gonna get into all of them now. I'm sure you can Google it, talk to your medical professionals and whatnot, but some things that come to mind right off the, right off the cuff here. Um, you want minimal stimulation, right? Dark room, room darkening shades, turn off the TV, don't sleep with it on. Uh, put your phone across the room. Don't be surfing right before uh, the room, right, right before you go to sleep. Uh, that's actually quite detrimental. So in, pre in preparation for this uh, video, uh, I learned a new term called doom surfing, and it's something that I'm guilty of too. You kind of get sucked into all the negative. You're scrolling through your phone, you're, you're scrolling down the screen on your laptop, and you're just looking at negative after negative after worry after worry after question mark after question mark. Are the kids going to go back to school? Are they going to get infected? Is everything going to be okay? How do I go back to work? Uh, is my dental office going to stay open? How long are we going to stay closed? I don't really know. You can absolutely endlessly spiral by doing this. Put the phone away, put the phone down, turn off the news. I'm not saying don't be informed, but don't do it right before bed. Coronaphobia is a new phrase that is kind of an interesting thing where people are just becoming so wrapped up in the fears of coronavirus that it's permeating to a vast negative standpoint, way beyond dentistry, their mental health. And it's something that we want to make sure that we let the medical professionals take up properly. They have the proper training 
and we can take care of the dental. But be aware of these two phrases, doom, sur doom surfing and coronaphobia, and, and add it to your vernacular and be aware of them. Um, some final thoughts here. Uh, remember, good old classic relaxation techniques, deep breathing, t breathing techniques, aromatherapy. You get yourself a little um, essential oil diffuser or whatnot. Put some nice lavender in there. Call up one of the many people I'm sure you have selling uh, oils and whatnot, and then utilize that aspect. It very well may work for you. We want to focus on healthy living to decrease the stress in our lives, to help protect us, not only our teeth and gums, but also our, our mind and souls as well. So with that said, uh, I'm all out of time here. I've gone a little bit longer than I wanted. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate everything. I wish you all the best. Keep persevering out there. Rely on family, friends, coworkers, anyone in your life. Turn to them and be honest, open, and communicate. As always, thank you for watching. Um, please go ahead, uh, if you're willing, hit the like button. Uh, it's always very appreciated. Uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell when you do so, and then select all, that way all the notifications, all my videos will be come, come right to your phone. Um, I appreciate that very much. We've seen great comments coming through. Please go ahead and put comments below. Um, thank you again. I'll leave you with that. All the best, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care now. Goodbye.